And this is the long-awaited weekly rough show. And here are your hosts, Yoyo and Nora. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Twers, the sunny raft show, or the weekly raft show. The weekly raft show, yes. We are in the first week. We are Nora and Yoyo and we live in this tent by Canvas Camp, who is also the main sponsor for all of these videos during the summer. Thank you very much. We will also have other sponsors, more on this in other episodes. In this tent, on this raft, for the whole summer here in Sweden in Dalsland. And in this first episode, you will get to see the preparation and start of our trip. An interview with a time expert. And the name of our raft. Let it begin. <laughs> Hello. So, we are about to start. The goal is today to bring the raft to the trailer. The easiest thing is when you just think about how the Egyptians built the pyramids. It's not with strength, it's with technique. We're not sure if the Egyptians had accepted help from strangers, but we gladly do. One thing we were not sure of is our car strong enough to pull the heavy trailer uphill? There is a little town called Eid, and at the edge of that town is a lake called Sturali. It's a lake full of mystery and... And the, the first and biggest lake of our journey. And in the guest harbor there, we can put our raft back together. So this was it on the lake of Erbe. Two years ago I came here to spend one year in a tent and last summer floating on the raft. It will always be a special place. It's 8 o'clock in the morning and it will be a very long day to put the rest of the raft on the trailer to the starting point. There is always time for tea. What a nice way to say goodbye to our new friends. Tak. So, finally everything is here with the material and now the first task is to put it back together but in a shorter size. So as you can see here the platform where the tent is on is too wide for going through the locks so there were basically two options that we have we can cut off the whole platform and shorten the tents the more elegant solution is to have this side flip up but I don't know exactly yet how to do this
This tent normally comes with one center pole, but last year I already built a tripod for it that now needed some adjustment to fit on a new sized draft. All of this wouldn't have been possible without the help of many others. People who lent us the trailer, tools, whatever. Thank you very much. Yes, thank you. Also, thank you to Anna and Samuel. Uh, they helped us to take the raft apart and they are the first guests on our show in the interview of the week. Am I having enough change in my life. I always think that we need more change and whenever we are having a change we think oh why didn't I do this before? Mm -hmm. Hi I'm Samuel. Alors oui, euh, avant de connaître Anna je vivais une vie euh, très très classique, métro, boulot, dodo, euh, avec un bon salaire, une grande sécurité, etc. J'ai l'impression que j'ai vécu euh, ces, ces dernières années euh, 100 fois plus de choses qu'avant. Et je crois que le, le, le vrai risque, le vrai danger, c'est de rester dans le maître au boulot dodo. C'est ça le vrai risque. Ce n'est pas le risque des finances. Donc voilà, c'est ce que j'ai appris de, de toi. C'est beaucoup plus facile en français. Ouais. <rire> merci. Merci. Attaque. Yeah, merci. Merci. <rire> <laughs> I can very much relate to what they were saying. The last seven years I have been traveling a lot. I had a lot of different experiences. And I think that is the reason why now at 27, I already feel like I lived a very long life. And if you also want to live a very long life and have enough time to get more information about this topic, you can listen to Anna's podcast or watch her TED talk, for example. You can find all the links in the description down there. Now, let's float. I will untie the blue rope here mm -hmm. on the raft. Maybe if you can take then the rope with you. Yes. Why do you untie it here? Because I need to leave with the, with the raft. The path out of the bay was blocked by a rope. So while I untied the knot to lower it, Yoyo took off. But of course he waited. As our patrons already know, this island was our anchor spot for the first night. If you support us on Patreon, you can follow our journey day by day. How was the first drive? It was, it was good. You looked very happy. I think it was better than good. Yeah, it's just because <laughs> now it started and now we're on our way and we have everything with us and what we don't have with us, we forgot. <laughs> I'm really glad that we've started because now we can let go of the pressure and the stress that we had for all the preparation. And yeah, I've, I've been on many trips. I've done a lot of traveling, but always I seem to forget how much time it takes for the preparation and that it's always really stressful. But this is the good part where it actually started and now we can just live in the moment and don't have to think so much ahead. We just got up and I feel sleepy and uh, I feel the need to wash my face.
<laughs> Breathe. The first days have passed and we started to settle in. There was even some sort of routine. And we realized this is our home now. In this first week we have been driving more than we normally would, since we were asked to be at the first lock at the official opening day. And to get through those locks we need a ticket. And in order to get a ticket we need a boat name. Which we haven't had. So we thought we ask you how we should name the raft. And we got many great suggestions mm -hmm. and the, our three favorite ones we put up on vote on Instagram and YouTube. And they were Rafty Mac Raft Face, Futristan, which is Swedish for Reliance, and Titanic. Great name, but we hope we don't share the fate. <laughs> yeah, and we didn't know which one to choose. Uh, and, and there was something missing. Yeah, there was missing a name with A. Oh, the Annabelle Lee. And I saw their eyes shine, the most beautiful ship in the sea. Ta-da! Rafty McGrath face, Annabelle Vertröstan, Tentonic. Raft. Why haven't we thought of this before? Or do you think this name is trash? Of course not. But let me tell you what is. We have found our first piece of trash. And it is bigger than we want it to be. <laughs> Let's see if there's something inside. No, just some water. It's actually quite handy because we can put all the trash in there that we will find. <laughs> we have also found a paddle. We are going to collect waste along the way to help make these lakes even cleaner than they already are. And now let's have a look at the weather. The, the weather out here, it is beautiful, it is sunny, it is warm. It has been like this the whole week actually. And also the next 10 days will be just like this, where you don't need to wear anything else than just the most basic things here in Darsland in Sweden. And what about Norway? What about Norway? A good question. Let's take a look. In Norway, it's the same. Back to you. This was the first episode. We hope that you will join us again next week. And remember, always keep your head above water. Like Raft make Raft Face, Annabelle Lee, Tantanic. Float well. Float well.